I mean, it sounds like this is an easy decision for both parties. <laughs> well, I can't speak for the, the Red Wings, and, and like they mentioned, I think they did their due diligence, as they should, and looked at what other alternatives they could have. But for us, it was an easy decision. We've had a great partnership and relationship with the Red Wings, and, and we wanted nothing more than to extend it another two years. I know this was you know, not necessarily the role you were expecting on, on being in a couple of months ago, um, but here you are. Um, how... What was the process like for you? How much did you, did you communicate with uh, the folks here in Rochester before this? And, um, how well did you know these guys before uh, before coming in here? Uh, I've, I've known them extremely well for, from the start. When we moved here in 2003, I was working in our baseball operations department with Jim Ranch. And so I've been here about every year since then and, and plan to continue coming here. And, uh, so I've, I know these people very well, and I believe they know me. And as I explained to Dan and Naomi, with the uncertainty around the general manager's job in Minnesota right now, whether it's me or somebody else, our ownership is going to hire somebody that's a good person that's going to work well with our affiliates because that's what people need. And that, that part of things is not going to change. What is about Rochester that the people that have a part of three affiliations in almost 90 years now? Uh, so, what can your advantage point set this franchise apart from other minor leagues? Well, I think I've tried to touch on it before. I think the number one thing is ownership. Naomi is fantastic to deal with, to work with. She's a good person. Dan, you're not going to find, you guys are spoiled. You might not realize it, but you have the best general manager in all of minor league baseball right here. There's no question in my mind. Gary Larder, these people, Will Rumble, they've been around here for a long time, and there's a reason. There's a lot of continuity, and we operate the same way in Minnesota. We have high moral beliefs. We hold our, our employees accountable to a high standard and represent the club well, and they do the same types of things. So we, we hit it off very well. We're very similar in, in that regard. And like I said, we've got great facilities here. This is a great stadium to play. And you know what? Well, we get such good feedback from our players that like it here. And if, you know, players will let you know if they're not happy or they don't think the situation's very good, they're not shy in, in communicating that with you. And we, we haven't had that issue whatsoever here. Any concerns that they were going to explore? Uh, yeah, you're always concerned because this is a group that feels very responsible to their fans, to their board, and to the people of Rochester, and they will do what they need to do to make sure that there isn't a better alternative or they're not going to ignore some things that might be out there. But like Dan and Naomi both told me, you know what, they looked at some things and they realized why well, mess with a good thing. We're very happy with our situation. We've been, I believe, 10 games old or 500 or better the last four years. We've put very competitive teams in the field here. When we first moved here, the Minnesota Twins, we, we always believed in promoting from within. We developed young players. And we had a couple seasons here where we took our lumps because we sent some players that did well in AA. We sent them here, and we found out that they were kind of overmatched by some veteran clubs in this league. And we made the adjustment and started getting more six-year free agents because we want to develop not only good players but winning players. And when you get some veteran players that can help you win some games, you can kind of teach some of the young players and be mentors for them as well as the coaches, that's very, very beneficial in the development process. So we've gone, we've made it a priority to try and be a winning club here, and we want nothing more than to try and win a championship here. Wonderful. All right.